Hello everyone and welcome to grade 8 chemistry chapter number 3 synthetic fibers and plastic. This is lecture number 2. In this video you will be able to understand the properties and uses of rayon, polyester, acrylic and spandex. So let us begin with rayon. Rayon is man-made fiber prepared from natural source called cellulose which is obtained from wood pulp by chemical treatment. Cellulose is a type of chemical compound that contains carbon and it is found in plants. Cellulose on treatment with alkaline solution, it forms a sticky liquid called viscose. This viscose on treatment with solution of sulfuric acid forms the fiber rayon. So as rayon has a natural source that is cellulose, it is not entirely a synthetic fiber. Hence, it is called as semi-synthetic fiber. Rayon resembles silk in appearance and hence, it is called as artificial silk. Let us proceed to the properties of rayon. The first property is rayon is lustrous and it resembles silk. I hope you all remember the meaning of the word lustrous. Yes, lustrous means shiny. So it has a shiny appearance and as it resembles silk, it is called as artificial silk. However, the production of silk is a very lengthy process which in detail you must have studied in grade 7 which makes silk very very expensive. But rayon is cheaper to silk and hence it can be considered as an alternative to silk. The next property is, it is highly absorbent and does not insulate body heat. Highly absorbent means it absorbs sweat or body oils that are secreted and it does not insulate the body heat means the body heat is not trapped inside the fabric. In, in short, air can easily pass through this fabric which makes the body cool. It is soft, comfortable and drapes well. The meaning of the word drapes well is we can easily fold this fabric way on. Hence, these are the properties of rayon. Students, you can remember the properties by this word lads. L stands for lustrous. A stands for absorbent. D stands for drapes well. And S stands for soft comfortable. Now, let us proceed to the uses of rayon. Rayon is used either alone or in a blend with other fibers. A blend of rayon and cotton is used to make shirts, dresses, ties and home furnishing. Carpets are made using a blend of rayon and wool. So these were the uses of rayon. Now, let us proceed to our next fiber 
that is polyester. As the name suggests, polyester. Hence, the monomer is ester. Ester is a type of chemical compound containing carbon. Many esters, they come together to form a polymer called as polyester. Terylene, also called as dacron, is most popular type of polyester fiber. It is often blended with natural fibers to produce variants with improved qualities. For example, terylene is blended with cotton to make terricot, which is more absorbent. Terylene is also blended with wool to make terry wool, which is warmer to wear. Now, let us proceed to the properties of polyester. Polyester is lightweight, elastic and durable. Its fabric is wrinkle resistant and springs back to its original form when creased. It is non-absorbent. So as it does not absorb sweat, it is not comfortable to wear this fabric in the summer season. It is soft and drapes well. Now, let us proceed to the uses of polyester. As polyester is non-absorbent, it is used to make raincoats. Polyester in the form of terricot is used to make various items of clothing such as shirts, skirts and dress material. This is a fabric which is made up of terry wool. Terry wool contains terylene and wool. Terylene is also used in making conveyor belts. These are conveyor belts. Mylar is a type of polyester film that is used in making magnetic recording tapes in audio and video cassettes and in floppy disks. PET PET that is polyethylene terephthalate is another type of polyester that is used to make beverage bottles, utensils and wires. So this was information about polyester. Let us now proceed to our next fiber that is acrylic. Acrylic resembles wool in its warmth and softness. But unlike wool, acrylic does not absorb water. It is non-absorbent and hence it is considered to be an ideal substitute for natural wool in winter garments. Acrylic is also known as orlon or acrylan. Now, let us proceed to the properties of acrylic. Students, acrylic is durable and resistant to the actions of moisture, bacteria and chemicals. It is warm to wear in winter. It is shrink resistant and wrinkle resistant. Means it will not shrink very easily and it will not create any wrinkle. Wrinkle are nothing but the creases that are produced in any fabric. Okay, and hence we need to iron the clothes. Yes, but acrylic is wrinkle resistant. It is non-absorbent and it dries very quickly after washing. So these were the properties of acrylic. 
the uses of acrylic now as we already have mentioned that it is an ideal substitute for natural wool and hence it is used to make blankets winter wear such as gloves sweaters shawls artificial furs etc so this was some information about the fabric acrylic now let us proceed to our next fiber spandex stretch up to 5 times its length which makes it very very elastic it is also known as lycra or elastin now let us proceed to the properties of spandex spandex has excellent elasticity it is durable and lightweight durable means it is long lasting we can use it again and again without the fabric getting worn out kharab easily nahi hota hai ye fabric it is very lightweight it we can wash and dry it very quickly spandex it is not affected by body oils lotions or detergents now let us proceed to the uses of spandex because of high elasticity of spandex it is an ideal outfit to make close fitting garments which are snug yet comfortable examples of such garments are sportswear such as body suits cycling shorts and swimwear so with this we complete the properties and uses of the four synthetic fiber that is rayon polyester acrylic and spandex so thank you so much for watching the video thank you